and welcome to a new travel video. My name is Ivana. If you're new to my channel, I travel a lot. So last year I traveled by myself for eight months through Asia, amongst others through India. If you haven't seen my India vlogs yet, you should check that out. I get a lot of emails, me private messages on Facebook and also some messages on Instagram of people who want to travel solo and want my advice on it. So um, I think I'll make a separate video for solo female travel. But in this case, let's just assume you're a super newbie and you never traveled by yourself. I just want to give you my short recommendations on where to start and what to think about when you want to travel solo. So the first thing I would recommend if you have never ever traveled solo is to try out a destination that is a little bit out of your comfort zone but not too much so the first time that i traveled solo i went to barcelona which is a european country they have the euro um i've been to spain before with my parents and with with friends so it was not an unfamiliar culture or city for me to go to well actually i haven't been to barcelona before but you know it was not like a world of difference like asia would be so for instance if you live in the us i would recommend you to go for instance, to another state, or if you live in, if you don't live in Europe, or you maybe live in Asia, just pick a country or a place that is a little bit out of your comfort zone, but not too much. So the second thing I would recommend if you've never ever traveled solo is to book your accommodation and transportation from, for instance, the airport to that accommodation. I still do this even though I have traveled solo a lot. When you're traveling solo for the first time, you already have so much stress and so many things to think about that personally, I didn't feel like being that adventurous to arrive in a new place and then start looking for a safe place to lay my head during the night. So the internet is a fabulous place. Check out the reviews, check out your budget and book that accommodation ahead. Then look into the transportation. You can travel by public transportation if you are, you know, if, if you're used to normal city life, that's probably going to be the same in a new place where you're arriving. But the thing is like, check out the different options. So if you want to travel by public tra transportation, for instance, a bus, check out until what time that bus runs and also check out your plan B. So how much does a taxi cost? Uh, where is the taxi stand? Just make sure you have those things sorted before you go. The third thing you absolutely need to take care of is having two bank cards and a credit card. And those bank cards should be from two separate banks because this is one of the most horrible memories I have from my first time traveling solo. I got stuck in Barcelona and two, two bank cards were blocked because they were from the same bank. So nowadays I travel with, uh, with a bank card from one bank, a bank card from another bank, and also a credit card. Also, don't forget to bring the pin code from your credit card because yes, I had my credit card with me in Barcelona, but I didn't have the pin code, so it still was no use. I still have to make a story time video about that because it was a traumatizing experience and I, I need to share it for your entertainment and maybe you will learn something from it as well. The fourth thing I would recommend you if you're going to travel solo by yourself is to maybe, like even in your hometown, try out eating by yourself because when you're doing that for the first time, for me, for me personally, it was a very unpleasant experience. You just have to get over that threshold that eating by yourself is weird because the first time it will definitely be weird. And I can also highly recommend you to uh, download maybe a book or an ebook on your phone because you probably are going to have your phone with you all the time. Any book, so also a book on your phone is also a great excuse to not have to talk to people you don't want to talk to. So this one time, this was not my first time traveling, but this this time I went to Egypt and apparently it was very weird for the staff to see a girl traveling by herself. So constantly I would get those questions like, why are you here by yourself? And la 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 la, and all those things. And I was just like, 
I'm reading a book. So, I'm sorry. I'm just reading a book right now. I don't want to talk about this. I think this would be the most basic things I would recommend to a friend if they would ask me, like, what do I absolutely need to know before I travel by myself for the first time? If there are any other recommendations you have from your experience traveling solo, put them down in the comments below. I always love to learn from you guys. This So this is just the basics. I can also make a follow-up video on some hardcore solo traveling uh, tips. If you want that, please put a thumbs up. And also, if you would like a solo female travel video, put a thumbs up or just let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. I make travel vlogs every day that I'm traveling and also on Saturdays I have a travel related video and on Sundays I have a road back to India's video because I'm going back to India end of September and I'm very very excited for that and I would love to take you with me if you wanna. Bye!